up guys it's Monday today has been tossed around a little bit and what I'm doing I was planning on doing a window job based on the fact that I thought Lowe's would have the windows I needed because they had them in the past turns out Pella does not stock Lowe's anymore so they've switched to Reliabilt who will keep them stocked up with windows but I like using Pella and that's what I put in the house that I wanted to work on today so I'm gonna have to order the Pellas which is okay because I actually told the lady it'd be a couple weeks but I had an opening today and I'm just gonna knock her out early because no one really ever complains when you get the job done way earlier than you say you will but I always have stuff to do so yesterday I texted a few people and got a little schedule together first thing I'm doing is going to a garbage disposal job they're complaining about it not working um, it's making a humming noise so I looked that up and apparently it can be jammed with the little blades in it but I don't know I'll, I'll stick something down there try to unjam it if it's not jammed I'm just gonna go ahead and replace it and I also have a vinyl siding repair a buddy of mine that owns a landscape company one of his guys got a hold of the vinyl siding with a weed whacker so tore it all up but uh luckily he knows a handyman that can go fix it Leaving that garbage disposal job while I was there, they wanted me to haul off a little futon couch, so I charged an extra 40 bucks to that in addition to the 100 I charged to install the new disposal. Now I gotta go dump the couch and then on to that vinyl siding job. You can see right here where you got it. And all the way right there. Then he also nicked the corner. Nick this corner. The homeowner had one piece and then I had to go get the corners from a local vinyl supply shop. silicone on the top this is our final product right here hey guys it's Friday it's been a pretty busy week I got a blue strap down some bushes I pulled out for a friend of mine and while I was there yesterday pulling the bushes out her neighbor came up wanted me to pull her bushes out and I was just gonna do it for her but she ended up paying me 50 bucks so nice little bonus on the end of the day yesterday today I have a bunch of little handyman punch list things to do for someone who owns some rentals that I do a lot of work for so let's get into it So with me doing all this running around handyman type stuff, always at a different location, always running around to multiple locations throughout the day, I track my miles for tax purposes. And this is how I do it with a calendar. And every day I track the where I go, the address, and then how many miles it has. And then I calculate them up at the end of the day. So let's see, Monday of this week, I drove 90 miles. It's a lot. I know it's kind of old fashioned to log it in a book like this and there are apps that you can log into I just haven't looked into them and right now 
doing it the old school way and that's fine with me and it seems to be working so I'm not going to stop it. But I am open to trying the app. I'm always scared of technology it crashing and losing everything so even if I started the app I'd probably do this as well just to have backup. Just left my first little handyman call with punch list for the client of mine who owns a little bit of rental property and she calls me for all the small things she does and I didn't video there because when I first got there the lady had this long list of stuff for me to do which is the tenant I'll show you the list real quick just so you know what it looks like right now So she walked me around the whole house pointing every little thing about the house that's wrong out. So when she was done with that, I called my client and let her know, sent her a picture of the list and she was like, no, don't worry about all that stuff. You just do the three things that I sent you over there for. I was like, yeah, that's what I thought because the lady just thought she had an open tab for my services and uh, because she wouldn't be paying for it. So, I made sure to check with my client because I knew she didn't want all that stuff done. So, she nitpicked everything in the house, but really, I just did the essentials. The kitchen sink was leaky, just needed to be tightened up. The plumbing up under there, the front door deadbolt would lock, but the one under that would not latch into the little plate. So, I had to actually move the plate down to get that to latch. And then the garage door looked like it had been closed on top of something. I don't know. There's a big dent in the, at it in the bottom. So I put some weather stripping to kind of close it up when the door shut. So I didn't get to video that because the lady was there and she kind of walking around and stuff. So. But I'm on the way to another rental to replace some smoke detectors. I think they're hardwired. I actually got to pick them up from Lowe's and then I'll be there. So we'll see how that goes. Back at you guys. Uh just finished the smoke alarms sorry did not get to video that either because there was three people in the house but everything went smoothly the guy there he followed me around the whole time and watched me which I don't really mind because it's not like I'm Jimmy rigging anything but I try to teach him a little something something so uh yeah and then I wasn't able to test the alarms because there was a kid there doing some zoom thing on the computer so I wasn't able to test them, but they, they're hardwired smoke alarms. So they're all tied in together and they all had the green light on them, which uh, is supposed to shine all the time. So I walked the, the tenants through the procedure of testing the smoke alarms and they're supposed to test them and let me know. But I feel pretty confident about it. I'm about to call it a day. I ain't really got anything else to do. Maybe some things around the house, but work three days with the heat and air guy it's probably going to be the schedule um, for the most part right now working three days with him and then the other day's handyman we did a install this week uh, under the house I was under the house it was not not that bad crawl space and then we did a week of the other two days services and and cleaning them and gassing them up and all that so that went well I'm, I'm still learning continuing to learn trying to retain everything I can hope you guys enjoy this video make sure to like it if you like it make sure to comment something if you're interested and hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed hit that bell button if you want to know when my videos come out I'm gonna let this car go because I'm so nice yeah so uh, yeah see you guys in the next video